Hi children, let us discuss remaining part of lesson 3. In our last class, we have discussed about atomic mass. So, these are the atomic mass of some elements. Atoms of most elements are not able to exist independently. Atoms form molecules and ions. So, a molecule is a collection of various atoms that combine chemically with each other. Otherwise, we can say that a molecule can be defined as the smallest particle of an element or a compound that is capable of independent existence and shows all the properties of that substance. Molecules are two types. Molecules of elements and molecules of compounds. Molecules of an element are constituted by the same type of atoms. For example, oxygen. We can see that two atoms of oxygen and hydrogen exist as H2, two same atoms. The molecule of compounds contains two or more different atoms chemical bonded together. For example, HCl consists of the atom of hydrogen and the atom of chlorine. Similarly, water consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Next is atomicity. The number of atoms in a molecule of an element is called its atomicity. For example, helium is monoatomic. That means helium molecules consist of only one atom. So it is monoatomic and oxygen is diatomic because oxygen is consist of one molecule of oxygen consists of two atoms. So monoatomic when an element comprises of a single atom. Example, all metals are monoatomic. Diatomic, when an element comprises of two atoms. Example, all gases, hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. Triatomic, when an element comprises of three atoms. And tetra means when an element comprises of four atoms. And polyatomic means when an element comprises of more than two atoms. Here you can see the element hydrogen. A molecule of hydrogen consists of two atoms. So it is diatomic. Another one phosphorus. Phosphorus, a molecule of phosphorus consists of four phosphorus atoms. So its atomicity is four. And oxygen consists of two atoms. So its atomicity is two. In this example, you can see sulfur. Sulfur molecule consists of eight atoms. So can you say what is the atomicity of sulfur? Yes, its atomicity is eight. And phosphorus, its atomicity is four. So I think it's clear for you. Let us discuss next topic molecules of compounds. Here the molecules of compounds constitute atoms of different elements that combine together in a fixed proportion. For example, water. Water we can see the atom of hydrogen and oxygen in the fixed ratio. That is 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. Another example, ammonia. Here we can see that atom of nitrogen and atom of hydrogen. One nitrogen and three hydrogen. Okay. What are ions? Compounds composed of metals and non-metals contains charged species. And these charged species are known as ions. For example, here we can see NaCl, sodium chloride. 
sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non metal so when a compound nacl is forming we can see two charged species that are na plus and cl minus so a nion is a charged particle and can be negatively or positively charged so there are two types of ions the first one is cation and the second one is anion cation they are positively charged ions and they are formed when an atom loses a negative charge that is electron so therefore they always have negative charges less than normal atoms for example na plus it is a cation next one is anion they are negatively charged ions and are formed when an atom gains a negative charge that is electron therefore they have negative charges more than normal atoms for example cl minus charge is negative so it is an example for anion it is a group of atoms carrying a charge that is polyatomic ion for example ammonium nitrate hydroxide nitrite carbonate hydrogen carbonate etc now we can discuss about ammonium here we can see that different atoms but they have a common charge so these type of ions are known as polyatomic ions in page number 37 you can see number of polyatomic ions and its symbols so my dear students please go through this page